video, I will show you four of the most common SIP error codes that you may get with VoIP.ms. This will be really handy when first registering your device or while using the service and trying to understand why you received a specific code. For the purpose of this video, I will be using Zoiper for Windows. Without further ado, let's get started. Error code 403 is one of the most common errors. This error typically means that your username or your password is invalid. This could mean that you potentially have a space in your username, in your password, or an entirely different password due to a password change. The solution to this error code is simple. Simply head into your device or PBX configuration, which for my case is with Zoiper, and verify that your username contains your six-digit or sub-account username without having a space. In this scenario, my username was containing an additional digit. Removing it and pressing register will show a green check on the left side of my account, showing that it is now registered. You can also confirm your registration by heading to the VoIP.ms Customer Portal homepage. Scroll down to Registration Status and you will be able to see the status of your main account or sub-account based on your specific use case. If you do not remember your password, you can reset it. If you are registering your main account, head over to Main Menu, Account Settings, Security tab, and next to Main SIP IAX Password, press Set Random Password and Send Email, and you will receive a temporary password to the email address related to your account. If you are registering a sub-account, head to the Sub-Accounts menu, Manage Sub-Accounts, edit the respective sub-account, and next to Current SIP IAX Password, press Set Random Password and Send Email, and you will receive a temporary password to the email address related to your account. Error Code 486 This is known as the Busy Code. It is the code that other providers send when the destination you are trying to reach returns a busy signal. In this scenario, there is nothing specific to attempt other than trying to reach the number again at a later time until the line is free again. Moving on. Error code 488. This error translates to not acceptable here. This means that the call you have requested contains something that VoIP.ms server is not accepting. This is more than often related to the discrepancy between the codec you have selected in your device configuration versus the codec that you have selected in your customer portal. By default, VoIP.ms has G711U, also known as PCMU, or ULAW, and G729A, enabled by default on the main account and sub-account. Make sure your device is using one of the two codecs and the error should go away. With Zoiper, for example, I will head into my settings, account, and then into my previously created account. Pressing on advanced and then heading down the page, I can see that I have Opus 8000 selected, which up to now is currently not supported by VoIP.ms. I will bring G711MU law to the right to enable it and bring the Opus codec to the left to disable it. I will now try to make a call to the VoIP.ms toll-free number, and it is now connecting. Thank you for calling VoIP.ms. For service in English, press 1 now. If you want to use a different codec like GSM or G722, you can do so from your customer portal. For the main account, head to Main Menu, Account Settings, then head to the Advanced tab. You will see the option Allowed Codecs, which you can modify to specify the codec of your choice and then apply the changes. For a sub-account, head to Sub-Accounts, Manage Sub-Accounts, Edit your sub-account, and under Advanced Options, you will be able to select the desired codecs. 
scroll all the way down and apply the changes. Moving on. Error code 503. This can be related to various issues. The most common issues are that either your VoIP.ms account balance is under zero, or you are attempting to make a call with an invalid caller ID. First, make sure that you have enough funds in your account. You can see this directly when you log into your VoIP.ms account. If your balance is positive, make sure that you are passing a valid caller ID. Otherwise, make sure to add some funds. To verify your caller ID for the main account, head over to the main menu, Account Settings, General tab, and under the option Caller ID Number. If you are using a soft phone, IP phone, or ATA device, you will need to pass the caller ID from the portal. The first option, Use one of my DIDs, gives you the ability to pass one of your DID numbers being in your account as a caller ID by selecting it from the Dropbox. The second option, Use a custom caller ID, gives you the ability to pass a valid caller ID, but that number wouldn't be within your VoIP.ms account. Per se, your mobile phone number or a landline number you are currently attempting to transfer. The third option is in case you are using a PBX or a soft switch, which in consequence the caller ID is passed by your server. For the purpose of the video, I will select the first option and apply it to my main account. The same options can be modified for your sub-account. If you make use of them by heading to Sub-Accounts, Manage Sub-Accounts, editing your sub-account, and modifying the option Caller ID Number. If you are stuck with an error code that I didn't mention in this video, check out the link in the description box below. There are many more to learn about. In any case, please do not hesitate to contact VoIP.ms Technical Support via email or live chat for further assistance. And this was four of the most common SIP error codes that you may get with VoIP.ms. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks!